Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Um, I'm still sick and I decided I wanted to do a pour anyway, so don't mind the raspy voice. Um, I'm not feeling the greatest, but like I said in my other video, I still want to pour and I still want to do these videos. So I'm going to try not to talk too much. Um, I'm recording this video before my auction, but you probably won't see this video until after the auction. Um, so I guess there's no point in really talking about the auction. Um, I hope it goes well. <laughs> I hope it went well, but we'll see. So you may have seen um, my triptych piece that I did uh, the other day. It was three 10 by 10 pieces and they're drying nicely when they are fully dry I will show you guys the dried results um, so for now what I wanted to try is the um, primary elements again because you all know my poor scarf flew away so um, this is what happened to my first primary elements pour uh, it must not have been level, which this is the first time this has actually happened to me. So, you know, it is what it is, but you can see the colors were pretty neat though. Um, it is what it is. I'm going to try again. And um, when I did this one, the um, white was way, way too thick. Um, so this time I measured it. The same way I would my Dutch pours, um, just a little bit different, but at least it's definitely the fluid consistency I need, or I hope. So let me bring you guys down and we'll get started. Alrighty, there we go. I think that's good. Can I see what I'm doing? And maybe I'll bring it up just a smidge so that I can actually see the canvas on camera. Okay, so what I have here is a 10 by 20 level three gallery wrapped canvas. Um, I have taped the bottom and I have my big, big push pins in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of people um, have asked me, what kind of tape do I use? You know, they say the tape that they use um, the paint goes underneath and the canvas is it gets dirty. They're like, how do you keep your canvas so clean? Well, I'm gonna be honest guys. This is just regular tape from Dollarama from the dollar store It's not frog tape. It's not any sort of expensive tape. It's just dollar store tape So what I do is I tape the sides and what you want to do is just take a popsicle stick or anything and literally just push it down you want to make sure it's really adhering to the canvas, right? So just do one of these all the way around. Make sure the edges are pushed down really hard and you'll see it makes a big difference. All right, so that's what I do. All right, let's put that back in the center. Okay, and I made sure this time that the entire canvas was level like it cannot be any more level than what it is now i it's literally let's see if you can see this can you see that maybe maybe not here oh there you go can you see that like it doesn't get any more level than that like i'm literally just holding it so get yourself one of these and it's perfect to test out your um, canvases and make sure they're level so what we are doing is using the poly pour and that is from color art okay and the colors i'm going to use tonight so i mixed poly pour with my white paint which is my artist loft acrylic flow white and water and i have a super 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 full cup here so i have to really be careful however look at that it's not thick so this is the consistency of my Dutch pours. All right, so if you wanna see how I mix that, it's, uh, I did 80 grams. Well, this is more than 80, but it's 80 grams of polypore. I did 40 grams of paint, 
and then I did about 25 grams of water. So if you don't want to make that much, just half those. So instead of 80, do 40. Instead of 40, you know, do 20 and so on and so forth, right? But that's what I did for this. And then the colors I'm using tonight, of course, are my primary elements, which I put in these teeny tiny shot glasses. I poured polypore about up to here. And then I put a heaping, I wouldn't say spoonful because it's not a spoon, but popsicle stick of um, the primary elements. So this one is the hot cinnamon. Okay, and what I do is once I mix, I always put a drop at the top. This was a great idea given to me by Tammy Anderson, good, good friend of mine. Um, she said to always put um, a little bit on the top because not all colors look the same. Like the powder looks the same, but as soon as you mix it with the polypore, it's a totally different color. So let me show you an example. So this one is called, let me see, Snapdragon. You see that? I hope you can see that. But then when you look at the actual color with the polypore, look at the difference. They're completely different. It's crazy. But they're, they're, it's, a, it's a beautiful color, but they're different. So it's a little deceiving. Some colors are exactly the same and some colors are completely different. So that's why it's a good idea to just dab your finger in it and then dab it on the top and there you go. That's what you have. So like I said, so that is Snapdragon. And then this color here is Stargazer. And then we have a new color again. So look at this, this one's called Mystic Blue. Look at that. This clearly looks blue, but when you look at it here, it's turquoise. It's crazy. So again, I put a little dab on the top just so that you can, you know, so you know what color. And then the last color again, Meridian Blue. All right, so those are the colors I'm using. <clears throat> I'm going to get started. And I hope to God this works out. And I hope it stays put. I'm not even going to move the canvas. After I pour this, I'm going to leave it and let her dry. So, like, I mean, it doesn't get any more fluid than this. You can clearly see this is fluid. So... This better work <laughs> because I really want this to work. Really, really want this to work. All right, I'm gonna get my spatula. Maybe I should move these out of the way. All right, scooch. All right, so um, there is no bubbles in this thing at all practically, unlike my flow trawl. There's just a few because now I'm causing bubbles. I'm creating bubbles with my spatula. If anyone wants to know where I get this awesome spatula, you can find it in my Amazon shop. The links are listed below in the description of this video and every video. You'll find all my social media links in the descriptions below of all my videos. All right, I'm gonna try and do this quick because I don't have a squeeze bottle to do my sides. So I'm gonna try and do this really quick. And while I do this, just to remind you guys to check out Juno's YouTube channel. Um, he's got about just over 500 subscribers now, which is super neat. Um, and I would love it. Hi, Sophia, my daughter has joined me tonight. Um, she's just came downstairs although she should be in bed. <laughs> but it is Friday night, so I told her she could stay up. Um, what was I saying? So, right, she so has, uh, <clears throat> sorry, he has uh, just over 500 subscribers. And if you wanna check him out, head on over to his YouTube channel and subscribe, please. I would love it if you subscribe to his channel. Maybe this is easier, but that's wasting a lot more paint. And I don't want to waste it all because I need it. All right. I can't see what I'm doing on this side though. 
Uh, all right. So Christmas is around the corner, guys. I can't believe it. I have not done all my shopping. I have a lot of shopping left to do still. Usually I'm on top of the game, but ever since I started my new job, my time is, uh, I have a lot less time than I used to. All right, I'm just gonna pop a few little bubbles. Oh, there's a hair there. Oh, there's Juno. <laughs> All right. All right, let's hope. Oh, there goes my bell. I am going to start with the um, hot cinnamon and we'll do that one first. Usually I do it last, but I'm gonna start it first this time. All right. Just let me add a little bit more here. I might as well use it up. All right. Hot cinnamon done. Now we have Snapdragon. Let's try that. Next. Okay. Followed by this one's a really light and nice pretty light blue stargazer. All right. Stargazer. This is a really pretty blue actually. I'm really liking this blue. Okay, and then we have Mystic Blue. This is kind of like a turquoisey green. All right. And let's see here. Okay, and then last but not least, this was one of my favorite colors, Meridian Blue. It almost reminds me of the green blue that I use a lot um, from Amsterdam in my Dutch pours. Okay, <clears throat> so there we have it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to... Mm, maybe just a little, like literally, I don't know, maybe just a little. I don't even know if that's going to do anything really, to be honest with you. Um, but the colors I'm seeing are super pretty. Uh, let's see here. I'll try and blow it and see if there's enough white. Let's try it. Okay, so there's de air bubble. There's definitely um, a lot of white on here. And as you could see, it definitely blew over the colors with ease. Um, so I definitely have the paint consistency right, which is great. Um, is that a bubble or a blob? All right, let's blow it out and see what happens. And you know, I start in the middle, right? One way, then the other. So let's do this. Now that is better, much, much better. It's amazing because the hot cinnamon actually ends up looking like it's red. There's a big bubble right there. Did I get it? There we go. Um, this is really neat though. And you know what? Considering there's no flow trawl in here, there are some serious cells going on in here. It's kind of neat. I'm really liking it. I'm not going to torch it because I don't want to get all these crazy teeny tiny cells. And I'm not blowing anything because I'm loving the way it looks. It actually 
Okay, so the two colors that have really, really popped the most are these two, which is the Hot Cinnamon and the, the Mystic Blue. So these two colors are the two dominant colors in this pour, which again looks like Green Blue from Amsterdam, which is awesome because it's my favorite color, one of my new favorite colors. Um, so I'm not touching it. I'm going to bring you guys down for a close-up so you can see what this looks like up close all right let me come around like check this out i'm super 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 happy with the um consistency of the paint so i definitely mixed it here's my light again let me see if i can Sorry guys, I'm gonna move it back a bit. There, let's try that again. I don't know if that helped, but. So you can see there's little cells in there for sure. But the paint consistency of my white was perfect this time. I'm super happy about this and I'm finally happy that it worked out and the colors are so vibrant, it's insane. It is super, super neat. And there's that reflection. Let's try it this way. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys like it? Now let's now pray with me guys that it dries this way and it doesn't slide off the canvas, which it shouldn't because I checked it and it's level, right? You guys saw it. You guys are all my witnesses. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe, guys, and hit that notification bell. <coughs> hit that bell. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. And that's it. So hope you like this experiment. Oh, by the way, um, if you want to buy any products from the Color Art website, you can save 25% off until December 31st. Okay, so um, my code is Canela1119. It's also listed in the description below, okay? So you can get anything you want on the website for 25% off until December 31st. And after that, in January, it goes down to 20%. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great night, guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.